Wrestling is a dangerous sport. Superstars put their bodies on the line to entertain the audience. But unfortunately, there are times when this doesn't end very well. Today, we're going to list 10 of the worst injuries in WWE. What the hell's left to do it, Cole? Oh my God! In a 2019 TLC tag match between the Kabuki Warriors and Charlotte and Becky Lynch, Charlotte slammed Kyrie Sane onto the barricade, during which the latter landed right on her neck. This was the moment Sane suffered a concussion, and throughout the rest of the match, the Japanese superstar seemed really out of it. Weirdly enough, everyone except Becky Lynch failed to recognize that the wrestler was clearly injured, as she was the one who rolled up Kyrie under the ring in order to protect her. Do you think they should have stopped the match? Let us know in the comments. At the 2017 No Mercy, Cesaro was competing in a tag match where he suffered probably one of the worst injuries ever documented in WWE. At a certain moment, his opponent catapulted him onto the turnbuckle, but due to the high force, he accidentally hit the ring post, which ended up knocking back his front teeth into his gums. While this was very shocking and looked extremely painful, Cesaro didn't stop wrestling. He actually managed to finish off the match. The superstar soon underwent a dental surgery to fix the damaged teeth. And I went like, ah, and my whole teeth were, um, yeah, shoved out my mouth. It's not a surprise that wrestlers bust open quite frequently. For instance, on an episode of Main Event in 2019, Sarah Logan accidentally kicked Dana Brooke a bit too violently, which caused the superstar to hit the turnbuckle quite hard. It was obvious by Brooks' reaction that something was wrong. We later saw blood covering her face, and after the referee evaluated the situation, it was clear that she couldn't carry on. The accident fortunately didn't cause any serious problems. Oh my gosh! Face first! In 2015, after John Cena challenged Seth Rollins in a match on Raw, And I say we have a match! Seth Rollins versus John Cena. The main event took place, during which things went very wrong. Towards the end, Seth kicked Cena with his right knee into his face. The blow managed to actually break John Cena's nose, and it was quite obvious the moment he got hit. Seth Rollins stated in an interview that he heard something pop on his knee, but he didn't know if it was Cena's nose or eye at first. I wasn't sure if it was his nose or his eye socket because my knee covers you know, quite a bit of space on his hip, in his face. Oh. The 16-time world champion still managed to finish off and win the match despite the gruesome accident. Wants to show he can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with John. He did a pretty damn good job yes, of it. Yes, he did. In a 2013 six-person tag match, Nikki Bella suffered a devastating injury. During a certain moment, Caitlyn pushed Brie Bella onto her twin sister, which caused her to fall to the ground and hit her shin very awkwardly. My shin is like on fire and it looks freaking deformed. Dude, that's not good. We're gonna have to go to dock. The unfortunate injury sidelined Nikki for a few months, and she was mostly playing the manager role as her sister would usually be the one to compete in singles competitions. The two-time Divas champion returned soon after and adapted a brand new unique look we know her for today. Nikki again all fired up. Remember, she's just returning action following a serious shin injury. This one is perhaps one of the most infamous injuries in wrestling. During a ladder tag team match at the 2006 Armageddon, Jeff Hardy performed a leg drop on the ladder, which created a seesaw effect that caused the tool to hit the MNM members. Unfortunately, it hit Joey Mercury with a much greater force, which caused his face to severely bust open. The wrestler was taken to a hospital while the show continued. Despite the injury being so extreme, Mercury was able to recover, but his wrestling career started to diminish from that point on. On an episode of Raw this year, Rhea Ripley was up against Nia Jax. During the match, the latter unexpectedly busted open. As the match went on, the blood covering Nia's face progressively got worse, and the referee even put on some gloves in case she needed more attention. 
Thankfully, this wasn't a serious injury, and the superstar managed to finish off the segment with ease. Nia Jax is cut around her left eye. Knowing the wounds of battle. Oh! oh my. In 2006, Mickey James won her first ever women's championship from Trish Stratus at WrestleMania 22 in a very memorable feud. The two had a rematch at Backlash only a few weeks later. The match was going well until a spot where Mickey threw her opponent off from the top rope, which resulted in Stratus suffering a painful arm injury. Because of this, the match ended prematurely via disqualification. And, Mickey's got a brick. and Trish was put out of action for two months. The seven-time women's champion ultimately returned at Unforgiven to compete against Lita in her retirement match. It was quite a surprise when the Hall of Famer Beth Phoenix made her Royal Rumble entrance during the 2020 Women's Royal Rumble. While she definitely shined during the event, not everything went as smoothly as one would expect. During a spot where both Beth Phoenix and Bianca Belair were fighting in the corner, the Glamazon ended up hitting her head quite hard on the ring post, which resulted in her head bleeding throughout the whole match. Ultimately, it was reported that the former superstar didn't suffer any serious long-term injuries. And now Natalia coming to the aid of Beth Phoenix. She did. See the back of the head of Beth Phoenix. In 2014, Naomi was set against Oksana on Raw. At a certain point, Oksana accidentally smashed her knee into Naomi's left eye, which resulted in a painful eye injury. Naomi herself said she felt her eye go back into her socket, and that was the most painful experience of her life. Although she, being the badass that she is, managed to finish up the match smoothly and only ended up wearing an eye patch for a little while after the accident. I felt so much pain. She comes down with her knee. progress I've made so far is pretty good. The rehab's starting to get a little tedious as far as the day-to-day -day repetition of everything and the slow progression. Hey Jackson, Shayna Baszler, boom! This kick oh. right to the face. You can see a tooth flying. What the hell's Lester doing, Cole? Oh my God! Oh, Lester went for the shooting star press! And those were some of the worst wrestling injuries. Which one was the most painful? Comment below and make sure to leave a like.